Okay, so we're uh, camping with the bikes. This is our second trip. Uh, as you can see, we have two bikes. They're already loaded up. We've already camped for the weekend, and it's been a lot of fun. What was it? A year or two ago, Corey started talking about getting some dual sport bikes, and um, we've just been kind of talking about it. And I don't know, a few months ago, he came home with some bikes. So, why'd you pick these bikes? We rode Harleys for years. Mm -hmm. I had a fat boy, Julie had a 1200 Sportster, and we're very comfortable on motorcycles, but the transition to dirt is always a little bit different. Especially for me. So, did some research, looked for kind of entry level, but comfortable dual sport bikes. And I was trying to find one that was light enough, small enough for Julie, because she can barely reach the ground when she's standing on it. And so we came up with a XR150 Honda for Julie and a CRF 300 Rally for me. Uh, you know, just get into some motorcycle camping, trail riding, something that we could ride to the store or ride into town if we wanted to, but mainly just be off-road. We don't have much interest in being on the road anymore. So this is our second trip. Corey has this old Dodge truck, and by old, it's like not that old. But. Yeah, it's 2004. So. All surfboards and all trash to the dump is about it. <laughs> so, finally, it's nice to use it for something worthwhile. Yeah, and it works great. So, both bikes fit back here, and uh, we've kind of become accustomed to loading and unloading them. And um, then we t uh, pull the tiny teardrop trailer and it works really well. We're in the uh, Camp Sherman Metolius area. Uh, we met our friends John and Nancy for the weekend once again. Uh, they left this morning, uh, but we're staying one more night until tomorrow. Every day it seemed like Corey and I would go for a ride in the morning, maybe mid-morning. We'd spend a couple hours exploring. Just like last time, I was so impressed by these amazing views. What's that? If the store's not busy, we should stop. We can do that. And uh, John and Corey would go for a ride in the afternoon while well, Nancy and I would just kind of hang out. Uh, we both enjoy our hammocks and reading, so that was something that we looked forward to. It's great having John along because that gives Corey a chance to go out and ride with somebody who's more on his level.
had my, my second crash. Actually, I'd call this my first crash. The first one really didn't count, right? Well, both of them, he just kind of fell over. Yeah, but this one was actually like while riding. So anyways, uh, there's some video, there's all video of me crashing, but you'll see Corey going up the area and then he gets to the top and he knows that I'm gonna crash. It looks like it gets better though. I wasn't exactly thrilled with this trail. So the road actually did start getting better until right here it started getting really steep. It funneled us down into a steep gully full of baby heads or softball sized rocks. And then it was pretty tricky to get up that last little hill. And you see right here, it gets really smooth and really good riding, which we discovered on the next trip out. I realized pretty quick that Julia wasn't gonna make it up that. I waited for about two seconds and then, all right, let's go collect the damages. That's where I wrecked, right there. It looks like nothing in the video. But hey, I survived, and I probably would go again there, maybe. And if anybody's been to Camp Sherman, they probably heard of Ola's, which is a Mexican restaurant in Camp Sherman. And uh, that's become kind of a daily visit for us. Yeah, our afternoon. Yeah. We get done riding, pack everything up, and then head into Ola's, grab a margarita and some chips and salsa. And... Yeah. Uh, yesterday, we all wore our, we all have Pendleton sweaters. We all wore them because we thought it would be fun, and it was. We bought this trailer uh, in 2019, October of 2019, and it was a one-year-old. We love the trailer, love not sleeping on the ground. We've got insulated walls, a queen-size bed, cupboards for all of our crap stuff. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll uh, show you the galley. The one thing that is new this year is this right here. This is a, an 8x8 eight eight room. Yeah, we've always had an awning. We just got a slightly bigger awning, went to an eight foot rather than the six foot that we've always had. And then we got the awning room, which is nice. You can open up the doors and have lots of air flow through. Or you can close it up and put a small propane heater inside. We use a buddy heater and it heats it right up. We call it the sweat lodge. Yeah, so this is really great because, um, you know, it's close enough to the trailer. Um, we just keep this this wall down most of the time. Unless we really are cold and we want to warm up, we put the, the Mr. Heater Buddy. And we'll just kind of close it up and warm up. But otherwise, we pretty much leave it like this and I can get in and out. This is our back galley to the teardrop. Uh, it came with a cooler here and we bought a Dometic fridge uh, last year. And we were gonna have Teardrops Northwest, the company that this tra the, the made the trailer, um, reconfigure this so we could have the fridge fit in here. However, <laughs> we've uh, come to enjoy our uh, storage here now, and we just keep the fridge in the Forerunner or the uh, truck, and we just keep it charged in there. Didn't you convert the battery recently? Yeah, I converted it over to lithium ion, and so it holds a lot more charge the battery lasts us a lot longer if we don't have anything any solar to charge it up with small comforts just little little things yeah so but we really are happy with this trailer and uh, it meets our needs 
So, uh, of course, we've had this tire table for years. We did add the Dometic. It's kind of a cool little nifty thing. So it's the water. You just kind of tap, and it, it's a faucet. So we really like that. So this is the CBD room that we have. We got this in 20, we just discussed it, 2018. It was our second time at the Northwest Overland Rally in Plain, Washington. Uh, we really like this room. It sets up quickly and uh, it's pretty secure. Some of them are really small and like the wind will Yeah, move small them. and flimsy. Yeah. This one's super solid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have a Helio shower thing back here that we'll use to shower, but we're looking for a new option for showering. Um, and then I recently decided I need some sort of toilet system. So my upgrade was like some $60 toilet off of Amazon. And um, I really like it. And uh, you just pull and twist and that's what it becomes. And we just use bags in it. And uh, I like it. I think it's great. And we have these little solidifiers that we use. I'm excited about it. So <laughs> Corey's like, man, I could take it or leave it, but I love it. But yeah, it's been a fun time and we are looking forward to another trip out here with the bikes. Uh, probably not till August. Turns out they're a lot of fun and uh, it's just a fun new adventure. That's a great way to get out and explore. You can cover a lot of ground quickly mm -hmm. and get down trails that you would never consider bringing a car on just due to the overgrowth and you don't know what's at the end of it. With a bike it's just super easy. Blast up the trail. Tonight we're just going to relax. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna head back home to Coos Bay. Just hanging out in our living room. So we woke up and it's very, very, very windy. There's limbs falling down everywhere and we live in wind. We live on the Oregon coast, but our trees don't have limbs falling down left and right on top of us. So um, we're packing up, we're gonna get out of here. Another fun and successful trip is in the books and we will definitely be back.